just out of interest, is what's your preference for Bibles? King James 1611. Hey, you know. That'd be all right. New I don't know about that new business, but uh, random. We've got the proper one on our phone. Yeah. So should yes. you hit us with a question that's mm, improper? My, my phone. Yes. Cool. Okay, so I'm here with Megan and Margie. Margie uh, from Westboro Baptist Church. Right. Right. Um, now, I'm afraid virtually the only thing I know about you, saying I've not kept up with current events, is that you are most famous for carrying signs along the lines of God Hates Facts. Right. right. That's our main website too, GodHatesFacts.com. And the one that I remember in particular was going back a couple of years, this was to the um, beginning of the Iraq war, where you were saying that it was God's wrath that was killing the Americans there because of homosexuality in America. Uh, that's close. He's killing all the soldiers, including the British soldiers, because of the proud sins of America and of the UK. Yeah. So not, not, just, not just homosexuality. Yeah, it says in Judges, it says they chose new gods, then was war in their gates. But the thing that, so the proposed correlation is between Americans dying and increased homosexuality. No, in again, if you listen, yes. the proud, institutionalized policies of sin, yes. every manner of sin, divorce and remarriage, which Christ said is adultery, yes. fornication, if you don't fornicate by 14 in these nations, you're a freak, murder, millions and millions of unborn babies murdered, murder on the okay. battlefield, I idolatry, greed, etc., etc. Et All of the sins that led you to thinking it was a good idea to have same-sex marriage. Okay, that's fine. The thing is that, so I think New York's recently put... Yes, and we'll be picketing them on the 24th when they start that folly. But the thing is, the number of Americans killed right. in Iraq has been going down. As so the country has been... Um, so here's what you have. There's this amazing passage in Ecclesiastes. And it says, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the hearts of the sons of men are fully set in them to do evil. So like a dog, if God doesn't immediately so curse you, she's not done. immediately cut you off in your proud sin, you think that it's okay. You think you can go on and be unpunished. And every time, so every time you arrogant rebels open your mouths to this church and say, well, that wasn't a very big punishment God did, he promptly hits you harder. I can't count how many times we got the mocking claim that the tornadoes from last year's tornado season weren't killing enough people to really take God seriously. So he smacked the crap out of Joplin and killed 153 or 4 people. The He's just getting warmed up I'm good. Struggling with is the thing you're struggling with is you're a rebel. No, no, That's no, all no, you're no. struggling with. Um, and you're, but, pardon me, but you're garden variety a dime a dozen type of rebel. Nothing please, unique or clever about your rebellion. Please, please. Um, the thing is that Europe has essentially turned away from God, as you would put it. Yeah, and they're the a, a shadow of their former self. I used to be the sun didn't they set. Are. Well, you can disagree till the cows come home. I but, disagree on but the fact I is, But the fact the is, the British Empire used to be worldwide so that the sun never set on the British Empire. Nice. Today it's a tawdry, little, piddling, fledgling bunch of losers, yes. weak, uh, they, they're, they're not counted on in any war, they're not counted on any war, they're not counted on in anything except to be a laughing stock to this world. Please. And yes, we ascribe that to the fact that you Please. mistreated no. and misused the, the, the prophets British, of the, God. The fall of the British Empire. Is because Empire. you misused and mistreated the prophets of God, the likes of John Bunyan. The That's the cause of the fall of the British Empire. No. And you can blather about man's history till yes, exactly. the, this day look, ends, yeah, look, and it you, doesn't if, change if, if that fact. Want, if you want to ignore history and just ascribe everything to God, then, then and you, you are divorced from reality. He ordained history. Yeah. He ordained it. No, 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 no you're, you're missing the and, point. And you you're trying to force our reality actually, to be your lying human history look, changes nothing. This right here is reality, young man. So the technology that you get is, in, in is, the a, is created by God for one reason, 
So Westboro Baptist Church could tell this world at this hour, God hates you for your proud sin. So, so of course we use it. Of all the Christians who have ever lived, how right. many do you think would describe what you're doing now? A remnant. As witchcraft. Uh, too many. How many would oh, believe what we believe there you now? Go. You have is just a condemned yourself by the very Whoa. book that you claim. So goofy. You're so silly. You're so goofy. No, it's called your logic. question was how many look, people look, who claim to you be want... Christian would call what we're doing witchcraft? And my no, answer no, no, is no, 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 too no, many. With the phone, with the phone. Yeah, whatever. No, 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 this is we're not important. bound by the ignorance of people who claim to be Christians. There's people who claim to be Christians today who say it's okay to be gay. You think that's binding on us? No, we got a standard in the scriptures, it's and the standard is clear. Yeah. This technology was created by God. No, it was created by scientists. Well, and you get and to tell reason, God that. And who created the scientist? Uh, who created the scientist? Well, well, let me start at the beginning. No, life, who created the scientist, young man? Answer that question. The life is a self-replicating process. Yeah, and you I know what? Sense. You get to tell that lie to God right before he picks you up by your scruffy neck and drop kicks your rebellious ass Look, into hell. Okay, so there is a premise here that God exists. That premise That's is That's not a premise. It's in your DNA. You wouldn't have driven all the way across country and sat down in this living room to contend with us if your conscience didn't tell you, if it wasn't part of your DNA, that there's you know there's a God, little boy. Um... The statement is inconsistent with reality. And you, and again, you get to put all that blather right in front of your creator, mano e mano, at the judgment seat, again, and good luck look, with that plan. Have, look, how about rather than actually just asserting there is a God, you actually provide for some For the invisible things of him, are from the creation of the world, are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, yeah, so that they are without excuse. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, and neither were thankful, but became vain in their imagination, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing this themselves is, shut, she's not finished. This, Hush. No, 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 she's no, not no, finished. They became Hush. fools. She's not finished. She's answering oh, your question. We've, uh, so, so the Professing fools, the fools, the fools. Hush, she's not finished. And do you know why that's internally inconsistent and profoundly And, and what you want to do what is pretend like the Bible's not true and bind us with that. they have become fools. That's I, right. I, so that's you what you've done. Do you profess yourself wise in the Bible? No, you profess do yourself you, wise no, in human it's, wisdom. It's a statement that can never be true. Professing yourself, if you are wiser than you're a fool, then you can no, never no, no, actually... No, no, no. You profess yourself wiser than God. This is the description, exactly. You profess yourself to be wiser than God. You think that you that's are exactly what says. That's, no, that's what exactly what you read, profess. Read that last bit back to me. Yeah? That's exactly what no, you please, profess uh, is that no, you're wiser you than me. And your what bias. do you care? You claim the Bible's not true. What do you care what it says? This is well, a description exactly. of a thing exactly. that occurs. So shut up you about it. Exalt yourself above a knowledge of God. You understand? That's right. I just read you one passage. This Bible is full of such wisdom. But um, you think you're a, smarter than God's wisdom. You think yeah. this is just a man-made yeah. book. There, there, you don't there, believe in the sovereignty of God. There, you don't believe in the power of God to reveal his word to mankind and to reason. preserve his word so that every donkey's ass like you and your stupid uncle can read it and there be is, bound by it. He's preserved it. There is a reason why this was written by uneducated camel herders and you use an iPhone. Right? That reason is because we developed something called the scientific method. And who and the, do you think created every person and gave each person the right. gifts so and the knowledge the and the game. understandings that they have? This is a the shell, shell game. game is you don't believe in God, and so do you, you know want what? to tuck everything no. up under human wisdom. That's, 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 that's the shell game. Do you even know what the shell game is? The shell game, I'll let, let me say it again, and maybe this time you'll listen. The shell game is you pretend there is no God, and you no. take every you bit of your thinking that comes out of your dark heart and your filthy backside, and then you want you, to tuck it up under human wisdom and pretend there is no God. That's the shell game. You are fundamentally incorrect. You do not well, know what and, the shell game And your mama wears army boots, and where does that leave us? You, we don't have to prove God to you. You have a duty to obey God, and you know he exists, again, or you wouldn't be here. Again, we have actually... You've, all you ever do is assert that God exists. And all you ever do is assert he doesn't exist. Actually, and no, there no. you have it. That's actually, all you ever no, do is assert. No, no. There's a scientific method, and this no. is just a shell game. And everything you say no. could just be reduced to foolishness. And blah, 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 no. blah, blah. No. 
Look, now that's all reason, you do. All you got is why, words. Why, why you don't have any belief in your Moses, heart. You don't have look, any hope. Why did you don't Moses, have any happiness. You don't have any contentment. You don't have any please. explanation. All you have is a lot of pseudo please. psychobabble nonsense. Uh, please. Why did Moses not write the Bible on an iPhone? Because there wasn't one then. Who why, cares? Why did Who God cares? Not it got give, here today. Who why cares? Why did God not give the Bible to Moses on an Because SD he didn't card. want to. It wasn't time for that then. What is it to you? You go create your own universe, so, little so, girl, so, and so then you can the talk about how to unroll here, the information. I, the, the thing is that the God that you're proposing here is a redundant tear. The reason that we have iPhones is because um, we actually developed this thing called scientific naturalism. Okay, we, scientific we don't, naturalism. we're not interested in listening to you. Do you have questions for us? Do you have more questions sure. for us? You can go sit that up in your bathroom and Actually, put all that bilge I, I, out. Can, can, can you I, ask us questions and we'll give answers or we're done. Okay. Um, so, why of the 2,000 years of... Let's, let's start with some broad questions. A question. Uh, yeah. Okay. I, I, I just want to clarify your position on this description here. So, for starters, when do you think that the Earth was created? A little over 6,000 years ago. Okay, so this would put you into young Earth creation, Mr. Jones. 6,000 years ago. Next question. Okay. We're not and, interested in all and, your labels. And Moses does the... Well, words are important. Um, but Don't keep Moses... sidetracking with your speeches or we're done. I'm not kidding you. You got nothing of value for us. We got the word of life, the bread of life, the only hope yes. for this g generation and world. You can get some you words from us. We're, no more words from you, little okay. boy. Either you stop it or we're done. Okay. Questions Fine. or we're done. Okay, here is the question. Okay. 2,000 years ago, a guy called Christ gets killed. The and Son of God was killed by the Jews. I'm asking a question. Well, a me. ask it right. And from this spawns a religion called Christianity. Not modern-day Christianity didn't spawn from that. Can I finish the question? Well, I don't know. We're going to see. So far, you're not doing so, too good. There are 2,000 years between Christ dying and now. And since then, religion has diverged and diverged. Right, because there's a lot of false prophets and liars. But here's what hadn't changed. Can the I elect not, of I've God. I got your question. question. I got your question. It's folly. The elect of God from Christ to now. There has been a church of the Lord Jesus Christ in this earth that has maintained a conspicuous testimony of truth from these pure words of doctrine in this Bible that has never changed, that has been an unbroken chain. Now that little stream that's gone through mankind, not just for 2,000 years, for 6,000 years, has done that against a backdrop of billions of raging rebels and millions of lion, whore, false prophets for example, the raping priests that permeate the landscape today. Nothing new under the sun about I that. You, you not, got nothing new. I didn't even finish the question. I have not answered the question. Why, of all of these 30,000 denominations, can you actually trace your ancestral heritage back to... I can, what I can in other trace... Words, your variant had, of Christianity... Question, that, question. Yeah, what's the yeah. question? Um, when did your variant of Christianity start? The, the day that Adam was created is when it started. Um, I, no, I, I didn't ask you for your opinion on that. Uh, well, That's I, the answer. No, Christianity can't have started before Christ Well, you're just born. wrong. You're just wrong. He's the, the Son of God, God. The Sovereign God who created and who ordained but all things. It was, well, she's answering your question. Shut up. Every it step wasn't of shut up. Christianity before shut up. Christ. Shut up. It wasn't called it, but it doesn't no one cares change what you exactly. called it. It's all, again, all ordained of God. All those things, the Jews, all the ceremonial law, was all a shadow of Christ. And when you read the New Testament and you see the fulfillment of these prophecies, all of the Old Testament prophecies and the law, the fulfillment She's not of done. the law. I know. That's so, I'm interrupting her answer. But I okay, want to know We're going to do this one more time. You're going to ask questions yeah. and then close your mouth while we finish answers or we're oh. done. I, I'm not I, kidding I, you. I we're done if you the, don't stop it. I appreciate the strong matriarch stance. Okay, we're done. You do, you finished. Okay. There's, there's nothing that, to what, one, one last question. All right, but we'll see. Does Jesus endorse homosexuality? Of course not. Can't you read, he said, that he that made yeah. them at the beginning made them male and female and said, For this cause shall a man leave his father and his mother and cleave to his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. Number one. No other twain. Number two, he, he said, said remember, remember Lot's wife. wife. Number three... He yes, took Paul. He I'm not done. 
Number three, he took Paul to the backside of a desert for three years and taught him personally. And the first thing Paul wrote was Romans 1, where he said, fags are worthy of death. Now, that, now, we're, fag, now we're done. Now we're done. No, no, no. no. But uh, this, we just, this, this, this is, this, this is actually the, the completion of that thing that I was reading earlier that you didn't huh? listen. It says, wherefore, because... Because professing themselves to do wise, they became fools and changed the glory of the incorruptible God into an image made life to corruptible man, and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore God also gave them up to the unclean to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshipped and served the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meet or fitting. If that is a, isn't a description of facts, I don't know what is. Those let's are go, called let, vile let me, effects that God gave Jesus. you up No, to. you don't get to read this because you said you don't believe it, so why are you reading it? Because I think this endorses, I think Jesus endorses homosexuality. Well, you would be wrong. Yeah, you're just no, a liar. This is remember Lot's wife. That's right. So... And after this, he says, so he's describing the end of times here. Yes. Just okay. read it. We didn't ask for your exposition. No, no, You're I, incompetent to read expound. It. Uh, okay. Read. So Jesus is describing, this is Luke 17, 21. Jesus okay. is describing the end times. Read, when please. When people will be raptured. No, it, it's important that You don't even understand know. the word rapture, and that's not what that's okay. describing whatsoever. Uh, can you then... Read Just the read and yeah. make your question. Remember Lot's wife. Whoever seeks to save his wife will lose it. Whoever loses his life will preserve it. I tell you, there will be a night when there will be two men in one bed. The one will be taken, the other will be left. Two women will be grinding together. One will be taken, and the other will be left. And there will be two men in a field. One will be taken, and the other left. What about it? It just means they'll be going about the business two of men living. In a bed. What are they doing? Playing that's what you're. Like that's what you're you calling. Yeah. That, what that means oh is God. two no. men will be asleep, each in their own bed, and when they least no. expect it, the wrath of God will pour out on this no, world. You damn fool! The fooled. word it says is two men in one bed, and which means what? Two you, men doing in what? One bed. Doing what? Exactly. What would two men be doing? Th in this one is bed? his case for homosexuality. Jesus and says. You that that have you ever shared Jesus, a hotel room with Jesus, a man? Jesus Jesus Have you ever shared a hotel room with another man? Uh, yes. I, and did you I, I, anally copulate with him? And, um, did you anally copulate with him, yes or no? No. Okay, then shut up. Right, but that's... No. Uh, well, there are three examples. And, that Jesus and two of them are out in the field working together. They're all homosexual. They're all homosexual. There's not one word about homosexuality yeah, and, in that passage, you Jesus, pervert. And Jesus, not one word about Jesus doesn't give one heterosexual two, example two, of two people being working in the field. Two people working says, in the field is homosexuality. Grinding, two women crying. Only together. your I'm perverted thinking, mind I'm, would yeah, hear I'm, sex in that. Right. Only your perverted mind. Do, do, They're grinding mill, you pervert. I didn't know that women ground mill anymore. They're grinding so, mill, so, pervert. So, so the rapture should have happened when women were still grinding. You, hun, you are a pervert. You're a deeply no, no. corrupted pervert. Well, you know good and well that's not what that passage says. Well, yeah, and so, now we're finished with no, you no, because no. you the have no... Grinding. Hun, this is if the, folly. If the women, we're if answering the women a man grinding. according to his folly. You need to leave the building now. If Come along, dear. Grinding together, Come along, the dear. You, <laughs> you've made that case as good as you can make it. Ago, Out, you go. Out you go. Out you go. You have no good faith. You're a filthy pervert. Okay. Out you go. Out you go. Okay. Turn it off and out you go. You sit here accusing 